Welcome to JS Tuitions. So in physics, we're going to start the topic referred to as wave motion. So a wave is defined as a disturbance from one point to another that transmits energy. It is referred to as a disturbance from one point to another that transmits energy. And there are two types of waves. We have the transverse wave and the levitational wave. So let me just write this point on the whiteboard. So I've said the definition of the wave. A wave is a disturbance from one point from one point to another that transmits energy. Then I've said there are two types of waves. We have the transverse wave and the longitudinal wave. So the two types, we have the transverse and the longitudinal wave. So we start by uh, talking about the transverse wave. So what is a transverse wave? A transverse wave is defined as a type of a wave where the vibration of the particles are at right angle to the direction of the travel of the wave. So it is defined as a type of wave where the vibration of the particles are at right angle to the direction of the travel of the wave. And the types of uh, transverse wave, we have the light uh, waves and the water waves. Those are the two examples of the transverse waves. So this is a type, this is a type of a wave where the vibration of particles are at right angle to the direction of the direction of the travel of the wave. Then I've given two examples of the transverse wave. I've said light and the water waves. So examples we have the light and water waves. Let us now look at the structure of the transverse wave. So I'm going to draw the structure of the transverse wave. So as you can see, this is the structure of the transverse wave. And this arrow just shows the direction of the wave. So this part is referred to as the displacement. This arrow represents the displacement. Displacement. Then this arrow, the, the point from here to here, is referred to as the amplitude. Then the dotted line is referred to as the 
rest position then the upper part of the wave here is referred to as the crest the lower part is referred to as the trough Then the distance between two successive crests, so as you can see I have the crest here, I also have the crest there. So that distance is referred to as a wavelength. Then this part, the part that I've drawn in black, this represents one wave. So this is one wave. So let us look at the definitions of the parts that forms the transverse wave. So the first part of the rest position. So the rest position, this is the region where the, there is no vibration of particles. So this line, as you can see, this line, it shows that the particles here, they don't vibrate. So that's the rest position. Then, two, I have the displacement. So the displacement shows the direction and it shows the distance and the direction uh, of the particles from the rest position. So it just shows the distance and the direction of the particles from the rest position. Then I have the crest. So the crest, which is this part, the crest is defined as the highest point of the wave. So the crest is just the highest point of the wave. Then I have the trough here. The trough is defined as the lowest part of the wave. As you can see, my trough is here. So this part, this part, this part, they form the troughs. Then the other way that I have on this diagram, I have uh, the amplitude. So the amplitude is defined as the maximum displacement of the particle from its uh, resting position. It's the maximum displacement of the particle from its rest position. That's the amplitude. Then I also have the wavelength. This part here. So the part from here to here. So wavelength. So the wavelength is defined as the distance between two successive traps. It's defined as the distance between two successive traps or two successive crests. And from the diagram, I used my crest, this part and this part. But in other books, the wavelength is defined as the, uh, the distance uh, in which a wave repeats itself. It, the distance in which a wave repeats itself. So we are going to proceed, the next thing that we are going to talk about is the longitudinal wave.